Yo, what's going on guys? Alex with Acing Tennis here. And before I get into the main content of the video today, I just wanted to say thank you to you guys because it has been truly humbling to work so hard at something and see so many people really enjoy it. We're at over 250 subscribers right now. My year end goal when I started the channel was a thousand subscribers. Now I know we're a little bit off from that. If you look at the numbers, about 80% of the people that watch the channel aren't subscribed. So if you aren't subscribed and you're enjoying the content, please, please please go subscribe so we can hit that year-end goal of a thousand subscribers and to show my thanks for hitting 250 subscribers I'm gonna be showing you guys the answer to the most popular question on the channel which is how I film my matches and it is let me tell you a super fancy setup let's get right into it so you only need two things to film your matches only two things and they're super fancy one some rope two a cheap selfie stick this selfie stick right here came in an amazon like 30 piece kit for a gopro it's super super cheap all of the quality of the stuff in there is super cheap but it gets the job done you don't need anything fancy i just need something to actually hold the camera whatever you can find that actually holds the camera this is what i've chosen the rope is what i've chosen you could use rubber bands duct tape whatever you want you simply just need something to hold the camera and then something to attach to the fence now some fences have a windscreen and so you're going to need to get up a little taller i also have a step ladder that I bring with me to the court just in case there's something that I need to get a little bit higher on the fence with or if you just want the camera higher for a better angle now I'm gonna show you how I put this on the fence and here you have my super fancy setup some rope and a selfie stick attached to the fence now I put this as high as I want on the fence and it works just fine I bring two pieces of rope because you need one point of contact high and one point of contact low to keep the stick from actually moving because if you don't have this down low string then this moves and your angle will mess up if a tennis ball hits the fence so all right I'll go ahead and tell you guys what camera that I use to record I use my iPhone 11 to record all of my matches and it is so so simple you just take the camera you flip it around to the selfie mode and then once you're in selfie mode I hit 60 frames per second because the iPhones are really good capacity for recording at higher FPS whereas typical cameras will sometimes overheat and take up a lot more space iPhones film in something called dot MOV which actually saves a lot of space you're gonna need to convert that file once it gets on your computer but it saves you a ton of space and you're able to I can film like four tennis matches in a row on here. But you just flip it around to the selfie camera, put it on 60 FPS or 30 if you want, doesn't matter. Uh, I just choose 60 for the better quality. You stick it in the selfie stick itself. Make sure the phone is on do not disturb and airplane mode. If you get any sort of phone call or text message or something like that, it'll actually interrupt the recording process. Put it on airplane mode and do not disturb. Hit record, set it and forget it. You're good for the next two and a half, three hours, whatever it is. You're going to play your marathon match, and then you go home and you edit. So I hope that was helpful for you guys. Please remember to like, subscribe, and comment on the channel what you want to see next. And really, really appreciate you guys. It's super humbling to see how many people are enjoying these videos. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.